one of the biggest questions I got from my clients when I put it out to everyone is to do with the climbing interest rate. So the climate mortgage rates have gone higher and higher this past year. Um, the biggest question I saw is that if you're in a variable rate uh, currently, is it best to wait for the rates to come down or, or locked in on a fixed rate or, or what do you do? Well, today is March the 8th and the Bank of Canada made an announcement this morning that they have decided to pause. Uh, on increases in rates and we are all very happy to hear that because the last eight have all been slight increases at, at one time and um, I think everybody it was ready for this pause to hit a little bit so that's good news to start that conversation off um, but the biggest thing I encounter with my clients is, is you you just can't time it perfectly you never can your needs for a home usually outweigh what you're able to do in terms of timing so I ask my clients to really reflect on the reason why they're purchasing a home and whether now is the right time based on those reasons, not necessarily what interest rates are going to do. We can always find a mortgage product that has some flexibility to it to be able to get you uh, into a better rate in future if they do go down. But for now, um, look at your real why as to why you're shopping for a home and whether or not timing is, is in play there which is awesome and if we could all bring out the crystal ball we'd all be oh rich. wouldn't it be great i know i would absolutely be a rich woman if there was a crystal ball attached and that's great <laughs> advice it's like live for now do you need a home to live in or not yep. so it's just you, you do have to live and and thank goodness we're not back in the 80s when the you know the more the prime rate was up at 18 20 percent right so. exactly exactly yeah